Now, the things you are supposed to do or not do immediately after giving birth. Now, we are happy for Mulamua and his baby mama. They seem happy. They're doing all they can do. And we're just happy for them. However, there has been a very concerning topic that has been circling around them, which uh, involves the um, snapback. There's always that pressure for you to snap back after pregnancy. We have seen how Ruth has been very on point she's standing on business she already has a flat tummy barely a month after giving birth and it just speaks to the pressure that is there the pressure for you to snap back the pressure for you to get your original bad body back the pressure for you <coughs> to just go back to looking into shape immediately after going back and it's more prevalent when it comes to celebrities or people in the public space however they're just things that you should not do immediately after giving birth give it like a month or two or even three months before you start doing things like exercises i understand there's that can need to just you know you know you look at your body your body and you just feel like hey Aki, i've become different i've changed you can see the stretch marks from the tummy maybe your tummy hasn't fully gone back and it takes a while before it goes back maybe you know things are happening Instead of your pressure of kujifunga maleso and that thing where you tie, you bind yourself, just avoid that pressure because it is so detrimental to your health. We have seen people who went back to exercising immediately after giving birth and died because they're like unchecked. Your body has gone through such trauma. It is trauma by the way. Your body has gone through this huge trauma. And then instead <coughs> of you just resting and letting it come back together on its own, you're running to the gym. You're running to lift weights. Trust me, your body can really not handle it at this time. So just rest. Relax. Be in the moment. Enjoy motherhood that one month, two month, three month. And then after you start feeling like you're coming back to yourself, then you can get back to the gym. Another thing is, why are you putting things inside you? Quite literally, why are you shoving things inside you? And I say this in all seriousness, because you'll see people who start using tampons. It's barely been weeks. Because you know you're bleeding. There's a lot of bleeding that happens after um, mm -hmm. after you've, you've given, given those birth. Adult diapers. You have those, uh, yes, those massive, massive ones. They mm -hmm. look very comfortable, though. They're so comfortable. They look so they look like you're sitting on, yeah. on, on clouds. Anyway, I'm in the wrong place. Clearly, um, you are told by your doctor not to have coitus four to six weeks after giving birth, mm -hmm. especially if it was um, through the vagina. If it is through CS, it probably will take longer, depending on how you're healing, depending on how the scars are going. Like, there are so many factors involved. But oftentimes, you hear that between four and six weeks, you shouldn't really be in, in, engaging in coitus. You shouldn't be using tampons. You shouldn't be inserting anything in you, including douches. I don't know why everyone is so freaked out. You're just trying to douche. Douching is it's like basically how do you even describe it mm. it's like an object which you you put water in it and then you shove it up yourself uh to clean and get rid of whatever is happening inside you we've been told this many times it's not good for you it messes up with your ph balance you don't even know whether the water is purely clean mm -hmm. you over there just adding germs inside a very delicate wounded space like, just stop putting things inside you period mm -hmm for four to six months or at least the doctor says you're good exactly and also just eat allow yourself to eat allow yourself to enjoy the meal mm. and i know when i your pressure yeah aki i can't be out here eating like a fundi i'm going to you know my body's going to get out of shape trust me the food you're consuming you're also giving out as breast milk it is so taxing i remember like after having a breastfeeding session you're feeling so hungry, you'll eat anything that moves. And in, in these moments, it's so easy for you to just eat junk food. Like, the closest thing is what I'm going to eat. At 3 a.m. in the darkness, I'm just munching. I'm just eating crepes while my child is sleeping because you're just so hungry. So I think for this, just prepare a snack. Be preparing, like, healthy options for you. Make sure you stay. It's nutritious meals because we have seen people who lose their teeth after giving birth, after breastfeeding, they wear your hair. 
hairline inanzia hapa inanza kurudi nyuma because all the nutrients in your body are just being sucked out by this small you know vampire that is breastfeeding from you and also at the same time there's absolutely no need for you to start taking alcohol again you have stayed off of alcohol for nine months why are you so quick to get on a bottle at all of one month Please, your body is still adjusting just avoid things like smoking or being around smokers if your partner is smoking let them take it, take it outside your child is now involved you can't smoke around your child you can't take alcohol around your child unless you're not exclusively breastfeeding i think this is, these are just the things you're, you're supposed to avoid i didn't know that children can actually die from secondhand yes. smoking it's called SIDS. SIDS. SIDS is actually like a spectrum of things mm. even if they sleep wrong that's why you always have to be vigilant with very like zero to three months seeds is it happens a lot they mm. could sleep the wrong way the blanket could cover them and they're unable to breathe a, a lot of things <coughs> that's why it's, it's called sudden death it's mm. not just one thing that causes it it's just the environment and acclimating to it could lead to a lot of things damn another thing you have you, you still have your scars you still got stitches from your cs for example mm -hmm. and you over there you're trying to lift all the problems of the world surely mm -hmm. like why are you carrying heavy ob objects why are you over there at the gym you've decided now is the time you will do 70 kgs per side like wh 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 what are we doing what are we doing surely of course your pelvic floor has been pretty much punched to its pulp like your your your, your pelvic chest stop mm -hmm. just, just like there's no other words for it except it just actually stop. Th actual therapy for you to retrain your pelvic muscles again like you can't even hold a pee and you're over there trying to like what are we doing surely I you can't sneeze and hold your fear at the same time. <laughs> One, one's go. got to go. One's got to go. And you laugh, but it's actually very serious. Like, I've seen a funny... I used to be scared of sneezing. <sighs> I got a shower now. You made me laugh too hard. I have to shower. It's but so funny, but it's so traumatizing at the same time. Mm -hmm. We were there walking around with diapers. It's not funny. Stop. Mm -hmm. Let your body heal. What are we doing, women? Ay. And also just accept help accept people to help you and i know sometimes it's difficult because you don't want to be a burden to everyone else you want to do things yourself independent but just allow mm -hmm. other people to do things for you but also the most important don't let people kiss your child i feel like everyone who brings an infant home should just have that at the front of their door do not kiss the child it is we have seen cases of children who get stds because they were kissed by adults who get herpes uh cold sores because you decided to kiss my child please do not let people kiss and hug your child if possible if they can wear a hazmat suit and you provide a uh, PPE at the front door, like sterilized, the better. But just don't allow, don't, don't also allow people to come around your child that often. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, their immune is still in development. Like mm -hmm. there's so many things that could happen to this. Honestly, somebody could even hold your baby wrong and they're, they're gone. So mm -hmm. you kuna seeds and you are just allowing random people to grab your child. They're not even holding the neck. <sighs> The other day, I think I saw this this man holding the baby of the child. Um, the head was baby. That was exactly it. Like he was carrying his baby, but like the head was like mm -hmm. flopping. And I felt an almost knee jerk reaction. I was just like, "Can you can you hold this baby's mm -hmm. neck properly?" Luckily, the baby was strong enough to just plop their head back on the father's shoulder, and then everything was okay. Mm. But I was like so stressed. I was so stressed for that child. I was so stressed. Anyway, other things include don't go swimming. We've already explained why your your lady bits are still recovering. Mm -hmm. um, if you can do Kegels, um, like try and do uh, pelvic exercises to help the, the the strengthening of the muscles within your pelvic uh, floor again. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, it, I do, said do it was Kegels funny. Do Kegels a professional? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's actually a thing where you can overdo your Kegels and, and then actually. Now damage your pelvic uh, flow.